Yo YouTube, what's going on? I am back at it again from my kitchen table. Today, uh, we are doing an unboxing of knock around sunglasses. Uh, given this time to get into focus, let's see if you can see it. So, these are some relatively cheap sunglasses that I've heard a lot of good things about and I'm really excited to try these out because I am super rough on sunglasses so it's hard for me to want to spend in $100 on a Ray-Ban pair. Let's see what the quality of these look like. Got my trusty unboxing knife right here. And let's open it up. I actually ordered two pairs of sunglasses. Um, one is a sort of aviator style. And the other is a kind of like a Wayfair sort of style. They are called the uh, Fort Knox and the Smile Highs. I see it also comes with a sticker right here, uh, knock around logo, pretty cool. Might throw that on my laptop. And a picture of some sort. I guess this is their studio. Can you see that? Uh, and it says follow them on social media right here so if you want to give them a follow here's their social media information uh, just some receipts and stuff left in the box so let's try these bad boys on uh, so you see they're uh, polarized they got the blue uh, blue lenses these look pretty cool they uh they do feel really well I'm wearing a pair of Ray-Bans right now and I gotta say they Feel about the same when it comes to build quality, so that's good. Gold knock around logo on the side right there. So these look pretty cool, and they come with is a cleaning cloth, carrying case. They come with a green carrying case like this. So very cool. And that was the Fort Knox. Let's unbox these mile highs I'm not a huge fan of metal glasses unless they're aviators so let's see how these feel my biggest drawback on metal frames is like they just always feel so flimsy I I don't know but these look super cool I feel like I could be flying a fighter jet and top gun if I put these on. So I'm gonna cut this off right here uh, and I'll be back to give you guys a review on both of these sunglasses, how they feel, uh, how they fit, if they fall off, all sorts of stuff, the works. So the review should be starting right about now. The Mahas are a solidly built pair of aviators, but I have one major problem with them. They're tiny. My other gripe with these particular pair of sunglasses is that nose pads are super loose, so they make a lot of noise as you're moving around. I believe the good does outweigh the bad in these particular case, though, as long as the sunglasses fit you, of course. The good being, these sunglasses are only 30 bucks US, and they're aviators, I mean, so you're going to look super cool in them no matter what. Up next we have the Fort Knox. Now the bad about these sunglasses is they don't look quite as premium as the Mile Highs and another problem is that they make everything look a sort of shade of yellow. But the pros are they are super comfortable and they're also you know like all sunglasses from Knock Around a very good price for the money. Overall, I'd have to say these sunglasses really defied my expectation. Coming into it, I wasn't expecting a whole lot, but these sunglasses really deliver, especially for their low price point. If you're contemplating getting a pair of these sunglasses, I'd say go for it, but don't expect to have the qual same quality as a pair of sunglasses that cost three, t three or four times as much money. Regardless, these are some pretty darn good sunglasses, and I'd suggest them to anybody. Alright you guys, uh, thanks for watching, uh, if you really like this video, give it a like, subscribe maybe, uh, I'm going to be coming out with a lot more videos in the coming weeks, 
So hopefully I will see you down in the comment section. Have a good one.